new Claude Opus 4.1 update is insane. Today, I'm going to show you something crazy. I just put Claude Opus 4.1 through 5 brutal coding tests, and the results shocked me. This AI just built a full 3D game in minutes. It created interactive landing pages that look like they cost $10,000. And wait until you see what happened when I asked it to build a physics engine. This might change everything for developers and business owners. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Look, I've been testing AI coding tools for years now, and I've seen some impressive stuff. But what I discovered with Claude Opus 4.1 last week literally made me stop what I was doing and run five more tests. Because here's the thing, most AI coding tools are good at simple tasks. They can write basic functions, maybe build a simple website. But when you ask them to create complex interactive experiences, they usually fall apart. So I decided to put Claude Opus 4.1 through what I call the impossible test. Five coding challenges that would make most human developers sweat. And what happened next blew my mind. Let me show you exactly what I discovered. Test number one, the 3D game challenge. I asked Claude to create a minimal 3D game prototype using 3JS, not just any game. A game where you control a character navigating terrain with obstacles, full collision detection, camera controls, scoring system, move counter, the whole thing. Now, most AI tools will give you some broken code and tell you to figure it out yourself. But Claude Opus 4.1, it delivered a fully working 3D game in minutes. I'm talking about smooth character movement, perfect collision detection, a camera that follows your character around the world. And here's the crazy part. The architecture was clean, professional level code that any developer would be proud of. My honest review, I didn't expect it to be this good. I thought it would be basic, maybe something that barely worked. But this thing created a game prototype that could compete with stuff I've seen from experienced developers. And it did it faster than I've ever seen any AI tool work. Test number two, the physics engine test. But I wasn't done. I wanted to push this thing harder. So I asked it to create an HTML, JavaScript and WebGL 3D game with realistic physics. The challenge, build a game where you launch a ball to knock over stacked boxes. This isn't simple stuff. You need mouse controls for aiming, adjustable power settings, physics calculations that actually work, a reset button that doesn't break everything. And here's what happened. Claude Opus 4.1 built me a game with perfectly stacked boxes, 10 balls to knock them down, physics that felt realistic, mouse drag controls that were smooth and responsive. My review, it generated a better result than other AI tools I've tested, way better. The physics felt right, the controls were intuitive, and the whole experience was polished. And I'm starting to see a pattern here. This isn't just good code, this is production ready stuff. Test number three, the space shooter challenge now, I wanted to see if it could handle AI and game logic. So I asked for a 3D space shooter, play a ship that moves freely, shooting mechanics, enemy ships with basic AI movement, health systems, score tracking, game over screens. This is where most AI tools break down. Game AI is hard, movement patterns are complex, and coordinating all these systems, that's advanced stuff. Claude created a working 3D space shooter. Ship movement felt smooth, enemies had decent AI behavior, the shooting mechanics worked perfectly, health and scoring systems integrated seamlessly. Now, I'll be honest, I've seen better results from some other AI tools for space shooters specifically, but the fact that Claude could handle this complexity at all, that's impressive. And we're not even at the crazy part yet. Test number four, the landing page that changed everything. Here's where Claude Opus 4.1 completely blew my mind. I asked it to build a landing page for a tech gadget, but not just any landing page, one with an interactive 3D model viewer using GLTF files. Users could rotate the model, plus pricing sections and purchase buttons. Most AI tools would give you a basic web page with maybe some CSS animations. But Claude, it went completely overboard in the best way possible. It created modern design elements I didn't even ask for. Animated gradient backgrounds with floating orbs, glass morphism effects with backdrop filters, smooth hover animations everywhere, pulsing badges, glowing text effects, parallax scrolling on the hero section. But the 3D model viewer, that's where it got insane. It built a rotating smartwatch model with 3.gs from scratch, interactive controls to toggle rotation, reset view buttons, dynamic color changing, mouse responsive movement that follows your cursor, floating particle effects around the model, smooth animations using GS app. 
The pricing section had three pricing tiers with animated cards that lift on hover. Clear feature comparisons, purchase buttons with shimmer effects. At first, the coding stopped halfway through. I told it to continue. And what it came back with was incredible. This looked like a landing page that would cost $10,000 from a premium agency. Responsive, designed for all devices, sticky navigation with hover effects, scroll triggered animations, a watch demo button that actually animated the 3D model, smooth scrolling between sections, even a loading animation while the 3D model loads. My honest review, I was amazed. This wasn't just code. This was a complete digital experience that most businesses would pay serious money for. But wait, there's more value coming your way before I show you the final test. I need to tell you about something that's going to save you hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars. Inside the AI Success Lab, we have the complete SOP and process for using Claude Opus 4.1 and other AI tools for coding projects, plus over 100 use cases. Every day, we drop new tutorials in the school feed, all the video notes, all the trainings, everything you need to start using AI for your business. And here's the crazy part. We have 14,000 members already because people know they're missing out if they're not learning these AI skills right now. The link is in the comments and description. But let me finish showing you what Claude can do first. Test number five, the eSports tournament page. For my final test, I wanted to see if Claude could handle complex design requirements. So I asked for a landing page for a global eSports tournament with 3D animated team logos, live countdown timers, embedded Twitch stream players. The result, it nailed the gaming vibe perfectly. Purple background with animated boxes that scream Twitch and gaming culture the first page design was spot on for the esports audience. Now, I wasn't completely blown away by everything. The team banners were just gradient squares with team names. That could be improved. But overall, it understood the brief and delivered something that looked professional and on brand. What this means for your business, here's why these test results matter for you. Whether you're running an agency, building SaaS products, or just want to create better digital experiences for your customers. Claude Opus 4.1 isn't just writing code. It's thinking like a developer. It understands architecture, it knows how to make components work together, it can build complex interactive experiences that would take human developers weeks or months. And it's doing it in minutes. Think about what this means. You could prototype new business ideas instantly, create interactive demos for client presentations, build MVPs without hiring expensive developers, test concepts before investing serious money. But here's the thing most people miss. You still need to know how to prompt it correctly, you need to understand what's possible. You need frameworks and processes to get consistent results. That's where experience matters. That's where having the right community and training makes all the difference. And it's improving fast. If you're not experimenting with these tools yet, you're falling behind. If you are experimenting, but don't have systematic processes, you're missing huge opportunities. The businesses that figure out how to integrate these AI coding tools effectively are going to dominate their markets in the next few years. Your next steps. So what should you do with this information? First, start testing Claude Opus 4.1 yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Run your own experiments. See what's possible with your specific use cases. Second, join communities where people are sharing real results and proven processes. Don't try to figure this out alone when there are thousands of people already getting results. And third, start building these skills systematically. This isn't just about playing with cool AI tools. This is about building genuine business capabilities that will matter for years to come. Ready to scale your business with AI? Speaking of communities and systematic processes, I want to tell you about three resources that can accelerate your AI journey. First, the AI Profit Boardroom is the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. We currently have 1,000 members who are actively implementing AI solutions in their businesses and seeing real results. Second, if you wanna understand how AI tools like Claude Opus 4.1 can specifically help your business get more leads and customers, I'm offering free SEO strategy sessions. The link is in the comments and description. We'll look at your specific situation and show you exactly how AI can accelerate your growth. And third, everything I showed you today, plus the complete SOPs and processes, plus over 100 AI use cases, are available inside the AI Success Lab. You'll get all the video notes from these tests, all the prompts, all the frameworks, plus access to a community of 14,000 members who are already implementing these strategies. The link is in the comments and description. Remember, Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you share your thoughts below. 
What impressed you most about these Claude Opus 4.1 test results? What are you planning to build with these AI coding tools? And if you found this valuable, smash that subscribe button because I'm testing new AI tools every week and sharing exactly what works and what doesn't. The AI revolution is happening right now. The question is whether you're going to be part of it or get left behind. I'll see you in the next video.